Hey everyone, it's Dave here and I just want to quickly show you the control center on iPad. It's a really great shortcut and way of accessing features and tools on your iPad. Let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, so you just flick from the top right hand corner down and it will reveal the control center. Now you can see you have lots of different options like screen sharing, uh, airplane mode, uh, airdrop, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Uh, you have the locking screen, night mode and do not disturb and all those types of things. And then you've got some other features down here. You can adjust the intensity of the screen and so on uh, or if you've got an Apple TV in your classroom you can remote control the Apple TV with the TV app uh, so you, you get some basic features here to begin with but uh, there are some really hidden gems within the control center so I'm just going to uh, take that off and uh, if you go into the settings and hit control panel just here you've got the option to access control center with any within any app so I suggest you keep that on you then also have this customized control option. So here you can see uh, the, the minus symbol, the ones that are already uh, featured. And then you're down the bottom here, you can see the ones with the green plus that you can add to your uh, control center if you wish. So uh, ones I suggest you have a looking at, uh, my favorites, which is the notes app. And I'll, I'll create a different video explaining that one. And maybe the accessibility shortcuts uh, are another good one to have, especially if you're in need of those and the other one is screen recording so they're three that I suggest that you add immediately and have a bit of a play around with so flicking down from the top right hand corner again reveals the control center and then you can see I've added the notes the accessibility and the screen recording app directly to uh, the iPad okay so that's how you access the control center and how you can customize the buttons that are within really cool to set up and show your kids especially early on when you're learning iPad uh, these are some really good shortcuts to be aware of thank you